Hello everyone, TP Gaming here and welcome to Expresso Tycoon. Prologue underwater. I, I think from the pictures I've seen we are going to have a coffee shop underwater. Uh, I've done the tutorial, learned how to play the game. That was uh, pretty fun actually. I, um, for a tutorial that wasn't too bad. Um, so we're going to go right in and play the game now. I think the, the objective of the game basically is to have your own coffee shop, make your own coffees. Uh, you can design like different recipes and things for the coffees and uh, yeah, make a business out of it. So our mission goals for this, we have unlimited time, have $1,200 in cash, pay off a loan and have three awareness billboards. So let's get right in. We're in Sydney. Baby shark in danger. Did you know that you can have one, more than one barista in the same shift? Oh, that's right. So we have employees and we have to, not only do we have to employ them, but we have to schedule them in as well. So there's a little bit of micromanagement as well as uh, just making a coffee shop. But first, we need to create our brand. We have various different logos to go through. Um, which is... Pretty good. There's a decent selection. Hmm, what should we go for? I mean, for a coffee shop, I kind of just want to go with it. I mean, that's just generic, but I quite like it. And we can have different for the for the name. What are we going to name ourselves? That is the question. What shall we call ourselves? Um. How many characters? I don't think there's many characters from the tutorial one that I did. I, don't, I think it's quite limited with characters, which is a shame. So you can't come up with crazy names. But how about something like... Uh, okay, so for starters, we're just going to go with how have you been? Um, in fact, we might change this to a coffee bean then. No, I like the coffee cup. We'll have it as how have you been. Ooh, we can change the colour of the, the back here. Purple. Quite like that red. Maybe a different font. Yeah, I think we'll go with. I think we'll go with that. I know it's not uh, grammatically correct, but if anybody has any better names, please leave them below in the comments, and we'll look to rename the shop. Something to that. But that'll do us for now. How have you been? We'll go with that font. I think we'll go with that background. So, here we are. At How have you been? Uh, this is our coffee shop then so we are as you can see underwater we are closed at the moment so we need to uh, put in some stuff uh, so the mission is so we're already most of the way there with that but obviously we're going to have to rinse our cash in buying stuff so we're not going to actually have that much money so what do we need well at the moment we've got two tables and two chairs so I would say that we are going to need uh, this is very much, if you are familiar with like The Sims or something like that, it's very similar. Um, we are going to need some tables and chairs. So let's go across the tables. See, they're $100 each, those ones. It's expensive. Are there any cheaper ones? Not really. But there's some bigger ones. So maybe we'll have some bigger ones. Uh, in the same kind of white since they've already got those in for us um, And maybe have some right round the edge bigger tables so you can come and sit with your family and look out into the Into the ocean and Things maybe put a couple of the other side as well. I don't know um, We probably don't need that many to start with realistically let's pause it a second because uh, I think our barista behind the till is on uh, on the clock I'd rather he wasn't while we were just messing around here um, I know there's some OCD people out there that will be trying to line this up I don't know if there's a grid system but I haven't got it applied if we have that's not bad though uh, chairs. 
quite like those aluminium ones that they've got actually. We'll have those. So we've got some tables for three. If there are four or more of you, you're not welcome at my coffee shop. No, they, they'll have some tables in the middle, I think. So see, this is expensive. How much money are we... We've only got $240 left. We'll leave the chairs this side. <laughs> We're spending money like crazy. Because um, I don't even know what products we've got in yet. Let's have a look. So up here is customers, mission, finances, markets, stuff like that. So our employees, these are our employees. So we have a healthy stack of uh, ones to hire. We have Johnny Doe. He works for eight hours a day. He's not amazing. He's pretty quick, but he's not amazing at anything. And it costs us $46 a day to employ him, which is pretty cheap. So that's not too bad. Um, but obviously we can only open for eight hours a day with him. So we'll need to hire some more staff, but obviously we need to, uh, to get some stuff to sell first. Uh, cleaners, handymen. You need all of these things, I believe. I'm not actually... This wasn't in the tutorial, and neither was Handyman. Um, we can look to see how our customers are doing, to see if they're happy, what they're kind of looking for in a coffee, uh, do a little bit of market research, that kind of thing. Obviously, we've got the mission. Finances will be displayed here for the previous three days, um, and then I think there's probably a monthly thing. We can take out a loan at 8% a day, so that's not too... I mean, the 8% is quite large, but it's not too bad that you've got this available immediately. Um, research, so you can research locked items and uh, things like that. Marketing, so presumably we can put out some campaigns to get people to come in. And then these supplies, so we have to... Uh, make sure we have enough supplies to obviously make the coffees or any pastries or anything that we want to sell. We need to make sure we have this stuff in. Uh, and you need to change water filters and things like that. So these are different companies that sell similar stuff. But they see Dreamway Beans, they are a three star product. Obviously it costs $22.99 per 660 grams of unit. I don't know how many units I don't know if that's a lot of beans. That doesn't sound like a lot of beans to me for $22.99. That's expensive, but our customers will really, really like it. So it's something to consider in the future, but you can move these in priority. So I think what happens is if you run out, I don't know if I always have to order. It wasn't clear in the tutorial whether I have to order um, these every single time or whether the staff will order it and I just have to put them in the right thing. So at the moment, if we run out, I think, we will get some Mer Espresso uh, for $4.89. Um, I mean, that's what I'm going to order anyway. We've got two in stock, but I'll keep track of that. I'm not sure if that's an automatic thing or if I have to do it every single time. Same for water filters, but we've got five of those in. Ingredients, we've got some just milk. We've got four units of just milk. Um, which I can't imagine will last long. Four liters of milk is not that much for a coffee shop. It'd be interesting to see how quickly we go through things. Toppings, we don't have any toppings yet. Uh, cleaning supplies, we don't have any of those. We don't even have a cleaner. And disposables, we need cups and things. We've got three, 25. So we've got 75 cups. That's not too, that's expensive for 75 cups for takeaway cups, but that's, uh, yeah, that's where we are. So we'll go into that in a second. Uh, we'll still keep the coffee shop closed, right, so. Our menu, you can click it there or you can click it along this bottom tab here. So at the moment we are selling espresso, Americano and white Americano. Um, we can bring in a flat white, but we don't have the requirements. So we don't have a milk frother and uh, so we, we can't actually make that coffee. So we need to get better equipment, then we can make better coffees. Um, so at the moment, the margin, $2.00. So it's 2.34. Um, per thing. $2 margin. Is that how much we're making on it then? So the price is two. That's quite cheap for an espresso. $2.34, $2.86, $3 for a, I mean, these are, you know, considering the prices these days in real life, that's not too bad. I mean, it's expensive, but it's not bad. You know, you're looking at like four or five pounds in the UK for coffee sometimes. So that's not too bad. <laughs> compared to the prices these days, but 
that's okay. So we've got a good margin there. So I think we'll stick with that. One last thing to show you, just before we uh, maybe even open up here, is we can make our own coffee. So we can choose what cup size it comes in out of the various ones here. And then once you've picked a cup size, so say if you wanted this one, you name the coffee, which I'll do in a second if we actually make one, and then you can choose what goes in the coffee. So a shot of espresso, some cold water, hot water, milks, of which there are varying kinds, whether you want uh, syrups, whether you want some, a dunk of ice cream or some heavy cream with that. For some reason, if you want fish sauce or Tabasco in your coffee, I have no idea why. Um, but you build this up and basically it, these bars go up and down as to who it will appeal to. So if you make something like a, like a frappe or something, it might appeal to more kids, students and maybe casuals. But it, if you want like a real strong tasting coffee or like a, a basic coffee, it might be more seniors, business, hipsters maybe. That kind of thing. So there's a lot to, uh, to get stuck into here. But I think we have enough stuff to open tentatively so i'm gonna i'm gonna open here we are gonna open we haven't got a lot of decoration but we've only got 240 dollars and we'll build that up i mean there's not a lot of place to put because i think we're in some sort of glass dome here so there's not a lot of stuff to you know you can't put pictures up on the wall because i can't be putting a nail through the glass into the the sea here as we go along we will open up so you have to get these see these little beans at the top here so we need to get two golden beans why didn't why didn't he... This menu doesn't offer coffee I would order. Hmm. Well, that's after a great start. Um, as you go along in the uh, game, you see these beans at the top here. So if we get to two golden beans, once you get far enough up here, we can open the toilet facilities, which I guess will entice more customers to our coffee shop here. So you didn't have anything either. Is our menu incomplete or something? So are they all wanting flat whites? Is that it? What did you want? So you can click on people and it tells you, but it tells you what their recent visit, but it doesn't... Uh, I can offer them a $10 discount, which might entice them in, but it's not off to a great start. Espresso to go. It's not my favorite coffee, but they're having it anyway. Okay, so what this is telling me is that most people don't like the basic coffees that we have on offer at the moment. Um, which is a bit of a shame. She just spent $27. The price of espresso is a bit high, but I decided to give it a try anyway. Eventually I decided to order espresso, although it's not my favorite. It's cost us $46 here. There's no employee at your coffee shop. Do you want to skip? Um... Why is he clocked off so early in the day? So I want his scheduling to be eight till four. We're gonna to have to employ a new customer. I don't know if we close at night or not. Um, we are going to employ uh, Janet Cooper. And Janet is going to do the evening shift 5 till 11 no 5 to 11 come on game 5 to 11 thank you she's going to do 5 to 11 um, and then I think if we can are you sure you want to close say yes you can you can close so we'll close overnight which is when we'll do our own little bits of Negative, this menu doesn't offer... It's okay, so we need to change this menu up. So we need to buy a frother. That is, I'm, I'm thinking that they are wanting... Um, they're possibly wanting flat whites. So this comes with a milk frother. It costs $300 to buy it, though. I think that might be something we need to do. So if we... Go to our finances and we take... Take out a bit more loan and put in a better coffee machine. We'll put in a smig. Can we sell this one? 
don't think so. But we'll put in a smig, because that will enable us to bring in the flat white. Which hopefully is the, the coffee people want. We might have to make our own coffee in a second. I was hoping that we could get like a little baseline going with existing coffees and then um, you know see how it goes but uh, so floor I'm quite happy with the way the place looks I just want some decoration really for paintings no items found lamps well we can put some lamps in I guess flat white to go not my favorite coffee but we're selling a flat white so that's good lamps there plants maybe we put some plants in hmm, that looks quite nice Should, probably shouldn't be wasting our cash on um... on decoration here let's put that one like that actually um, it'll give us a little bit of a, a, a rating probably I don't know where these people are going by the way I know we're, we're under the sea but they just walk out like they're just nipping in for a quick coffee on their way shopping or something. I don't know where we are. Uh, cabinets and stuff. I mean, we're going to get all this stuff. Now, snacks. Name croissant. I don't actually know how to use these. Level up. Your coffee has met the standard required to be all two golden beans. Also receive a small cash bonus of $300. So that's good. So we can kick a bit of the loan out there. Um, good. That's good. Yeah, if I put a croissant, where can I put this croissant? Just, what do you do with this? So you just put this on the counter, do you? And people buy them. I see. So this is part of our... Um, this is part of our... So if I put that there... Is that just one croissant? For sale now. Okay, we've, we've now... So... Um, yeah, I'm going to close the coffee shop. I'm going to have to ask that person to leave. I'm going to close the coffee shop and skip the rest of the time in a second. Next challenge is coming up. Uh, okay. So. Uh, yeah, it's not clear what we do with that. Snacks. So we've got one croissant then. We don't have anything else because we've not researched the item. So that's fine. But do you just keep putting these in then? And people buy them? And they don't cost us a lot. 25 cents or something like that. I wonder what we sell these for. Can we put like a markup on them or something? Or are these just... For decoration purposes it's not really clear i mean they're in the decoration thing so i don't think you actually do sell those but it looks better with them there so we'll leave them and they're pretty cheap decoration right so we're only going to open at the moment because we can't really have um we can't really afford the staff so we're just going to open from eight in the morning till 11 at night which in real life would be a really good thing and this guy prefers mornings and this person prefers evenings so it's perfect we have the perfect staffing here um, it wasn't for no reason we were closed hipster Olivia Adams uh, research now I can't really afford to do research but what we're going to do so we're going to check the supply situation as well I think um, I think we're okay for supplies then uh, we're going to have a go at making our own coffee I think just before we uh, open up we're going to go into the coffee editor so, we're going to have to name our coffee. So we're going to call this, I don't know how many, hot and steamy. Do we have a... We do. We can have a hot and steamy. I don't know why we're calling it hot and steamy, but why not? Uh, we're going to serve it. Hmm. I quite like just the original base mug, to be honest. So we'll have a hot and steamy. So what can we put in here? Well, I think what we want to do is we want to have hot milk, an espresso, maybe a bit more hot milk, and another espresso. That looks weird. 
Um, this is not, by the way, please do not take my word on making coffees. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I'm not the coffee maker of the family. Um, let's see. Uh, maybe a touch of vanilla syrup just to, to bring it through a little bit. So that would appeal to hipsters, seniors and techies, but it would put everybody else off. But if we topped it with something, can we bring them back? What about a topping of whipped cream? Very much a seniors and techies coffee. They love that. Double shot of espresso, double milk and a, and a whipped cream. That's, um, can we, can we move the, yeah, we can take the whipped cream off. That's okay. I don't really want the cream. Or do we want the cream then? You know what? We're going to have the cream, but we're not appealing to those. We're appealing to these hipsters. Look, we're going to go for this. Hot and steamy. It's creamy. It's hot. A couple of blueberries on top. Oh, yes. I don't know why you would ever have this, but that casuals love it now. Maybe we won't want too many there. That was weird. So that, that one blueberry, the casuals think, hey, 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 come on. Five blueberries is not enough, but the sixth. That will get us going, and the techies were like, whoa, six blueberries. We were okay at five, but six, that's just ridiculous. And they didn't like that, but I think that's a nice balance. We've got hipsters, seniors, techies, casuals. They're all kind of enjoying it. I don't care about the others with this coffee. It's not for them. We can make them a coffee. So let's not get greedy. Let's not put in that. So next step. I mean, it doesn't look that good, to be honest. It looks kind of weird. Um, so it takes 1 minute and 40 seconds to make, cost us $2.26, it's got 780 calories. Served at 97 degrees, uh, I take that, must be Fahrenheit, otherwise that is hot, that really is hot and steamy. Um, 300 mil, it's a bit weak, it's not for kids, it's got milk in it, that's good, let's make it. So we can't make this because we don't have any whipped cream and we don't have any blueberries so we need to um pause the game because we we are closed unfortunately and the time has been ticking by and we have been closed all this time we've been paying a barista mistakes were made mistakes have been made but we need to go to our supplies then so where are our supplies uh, supplies supplies where are our supplies can't remember where our supplies are I want to add that to the menu. Yes, I do. But I want to... Um, supplies. Supplies. Well, I know we can get to it from finances. Supplies. So we need some just whipped cream. We'll take the fairly decent one. Instant delivery is $259 for one? Or we can have it $9.99 in four hours. We're going to have to take this option. We're going to have to take that option. <laughs> we, we'll just have to not serve it for a little while. Um, blueberries. Um, we'll take... We'll just take the Blue Moon blueberries. We'll take three of those. Probably should have taken more whipped cream, but... Can't, can I undo that now? Cancel the order, get your money back, yes. We'll have three whipped creams as well. Uh, okay, so that can go on the menu later. So the only thing we can do now is reopen the coffee shop. Because... Open. No, come back, sir. Come back. Come back. Senior Harris, come back. Ah, right, well, well. If you just turn around, you can see we're actually open now. So up here we have a cinematic camera mode. Which puts us in the heart of the uh, in the heart of the action. We seem to be a bit low on the floor, but there we go. So you can have a you can have a good look around your coffee shop. Um, I assume when you're not covered in water, maybe some of the other coffee shops you can have stuff on the wall and things. She seems to be enjoying that coffee. Is our barista? These are our giant croissants. The size of them. This is what it's like to stand behind our slightly weird looking coffee shop, but it's, it's nice. Nobody's sitting in yet. 
We've not got anybody to sit yet. So you can just tab in and out of that apparently, so we'll do that in future. Next challenge. Yeah, okay. So how are our finances doing here? Croissant, she's ordering a croissant. And she took a croissant, so you do sell those. That answers the question from earlier. So you do sell croissants. That's pretty good then. There's about a 75 cents. I think we made on that or something like that. She paid about a dollar for that, didn't she? So he leaves and our next staff member will come in within a minute, apparently. I don't know why. Oh, she starts at five. Why doesn't she start at... F oh, we said it to start at five, didn't we? We'll have to change that, I reckon, in the scheduling. Oh, don't leave. Should we here in a second? No. No. Ah. Oh. Mistakes were made again here. So she needs to start at four, not five. Otherwise, we have to close for an hour. Ah, what's this? These are... Ah, these are our deliveries. So we have our whipped cream and we have our blue moon, which means the menu can now... We can now make 13 cups of our hot and steamy. Let's see if anybody buys a hot and steamy. I bet nobody's going to buy a hot and steamy now. Flat white. Come on. Try a hot and steamy. Try a hot and steamy. Come on. Menu. Let's go. How much are we making? Wow. 432 for a hot and steamy. Wow. Oh. That could be quite profitable then. I keep thinking this is a spider. Octopus Jenny. Okay. New challenge. Uh, sell it to tell ten espressos in twenty hours. Penalty if you don't get it right is minus ten. I don't think we're going to sell ten in twenty hours. We're getting like one customer every, basically a customer every hour, and we have to close overnight. So that's not going to happen. Um, the plants need watering. So I can do this manually then, or I can hire the handyman or the cleaner to come in and take care of stuff. So I think at the moment, I'm going to work and make sure we clear everything up. Romantic table repair. How's this a romantic table? What? <laughs> a romantic table for one. How romantic. What a romantic occasion it will be sitting on your own in a coffee shop. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if we put a second chair in there then. I wonder if that will entice couples. Is that a game mechanic, I wonder? What, 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 what? I love the style of the place. But you don't have any coffee I'd like. Student. So we're not... We're not catering for students, then are we? Ask to leave. Okay, well that's going to do it for this video. We will carry on next time. We will try and get some more coffees on the menu. Try and get some people. I'll just give this a pause while I uh, do a bit of housekeeping, of course. Um, yeah, so we'll try and get some more coffees on the menu to try and entice some new customers. Uh, try and jazz the place up a little bit and try and make some money. Um, as I said at the beginning, if you've got any other funny ideas for names of the coffee shop, please leave them in the comments below and I will, if there's a brilliant one in there, change the name of the coffee shop to that. Um, but in the meantime, this is How Have You Been? If you did enjoy the episode, leave it a like, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next